Oh, shit. We've all been there. Don't be like this guy. Today I'm going to be helping you guys put together some awesome last minute DIY Halloween costumes. Let's get started. For this first Greek toga DIY Halloween costume, you only need two things. A simple white sheet, and if you have any leftover grapes, you can use the vine from that. To pull off this very simple 80s look, all you'll need is some clothes from your dad's closet. Start with some simple joggers or sweatpants. Then of course get some shorts to wear over it. A nice headband to throw in with it. And of course the classic 80s windbreaker. For this classic hippie look straight out of the 70s, all you'll need is one item. A simple tie-dye shirt will do and everyone at the party will surely know what you're going for. You'll want to be careful about this next costume as it can cause problems with cultural appropriation. Thankfully, I'm from a Latino descent so it doesn't cause any problems. For this costume, you will need a bandana, a white t-shirt, some pants, or some long khaki shorts which I do not own, and of course the classic flannel. To achieve this super cool basketball guy look, you'll only need a few things. First start with some basketball shorts. Make sure that they're from the NBA. Next you'll need a jersey to match with it. Also from the NBA. Throw in some socks and shoes and you're good to go. Do you like traveling? Well then this is definitely the costume for you. Go into your closet and dig out your best tourist clothes. For me I got this floral button up, a nice sun hat, some short khakis, and a nice Polaroid camera. If you don't mind ruining your mom's favorite set of sheets, then this is your go-to costume. To become this spooky ghost, all you'll need is one sheet and a pair of scissors so you can see. In order to pull off this classic businessman look, you'll only need a few things. Start with the button-up shirt. Then pair that with a necktie, add in some dress pants, throw on some glasses, and add in a folder prop. That way you look like you know what you're doing. Have you always wanted to work for Target and they won't give you a call back? Well Halloween's the one night of the year that you can dress up as an employee. You only need two things for this costume, which are a pair of khaki pants and a nice red shirt to go with it. To pull off this classic Camp Crystal Lake killer look, all you'll need is the iconic Jason Voorhees mask, and if you want to spice it up, throw in a matching t-shirt. My personal favorite is this Ghostface killer costume. I think everyone already owns this costume for some reason, so just go in the closet and dig it out. In order to pull off this simple yet elegant guy with long hair look, all you'll need is a wig. You can put together this really easy mummy costume in less than 5 minutes. The only supplies that you'll need for this one are some white party streamers. For this extremely scary look, I recommend only doing it if you're going to be around adults. You'll only need one item to pull that off though, and that's fake blood. In the wise words of the iconic Karen Smith, I'm a mouse, duh. To pull off this look, all you'll need is some ears on a headband, and a not so permanent marker. And now, speed around with costumes for everyone that only require one object. Guy with an avocado. Guy with two avocados. Guy with three avocados. Guy with tennis racket. Guy who drank all the Hawaiian punch. Guy with a loaf of whole wheat bread. Guy with six mini bottles of alcohol. Paper towel guy. Super cool guy with hydro flask. Guy with blender. Guy with a family sized box of chocolate cinnamon toast crunch. Guy with two of the same candles. Okay, so that was supposed to be a parody of like one of those last minute Halloween costume DIY videos where they like tell you to make a costume out of a whole bunch of stuff that you don't have at home that they expect you to have. But some of my costumes actually came out pretty good like my tourist and my cholo and my mummy. Those were... Those were passable, I would wear those out. So maybe you got some ideas from this video, but a majority of them were a joke if you didn't get that. So so yeah, we are on our fourth Halloween video. Halloween is this coming week, so when I return, Halloween season will be over, so... 
we're kind of done, which makes me really sad because I love Halloween. But I hope you guys enjoy this four video series. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy all my videos, really. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you're a frequent user and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? No, I'm just kidding. But for real, subscribe. Yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, and have a safe Halloween, guys. Let me know if you decide to do any of these costumes, and I will see you guys next week. Happy Halloween. Yeah.